Hi, my name is Stephen Mansfield and I am not a bartender. Believe me, you don't want me pouring your beer or mixing your drinks. But I did write a book called In Search of God in Guinness. Let me ask you a question. If I told you there was a company which provided several doctors on call 24-7 for its employees, several dentists, uh, several health care nurses, several massage therapists, if I told you that they provided reading rooms, if I told you that they provided a bank to help their workers buy homes, and they funded trips into the country, and they paid for burial services, and they paid for the education of all the children in the family, and a whole bunch of other things, if I told you all of those things, you would think I was talking about, I don't know, maybe Microsoft or Google. But in fact, I'm describing the company called Guinness. Yes, the beer company. And by the way, I'm describing a condition in that company that existed in the 1920s. Those decades ago, Guinness was already taking care of their employees in a way that is really radical by modern standards, even though some companies are attempting to aspire to that standard. So decades before modern companies were being proactive and socially concerned about their employees, Guinness, the beer company, was taking care of its employees. And by the way, they weren't just taking care of their employees, they were pouring millions of dollars into alleviating poverty in Ireland and other countries. Well, that's why I've written this book called In Search of God and Guinness. Uh, I love the Guinness story, the, the story of the beer, the story of the family that made such a difference for 250 years. But I also love the undergirding of faith that was there. The, the founder, Arthur Guinness, was influenced by John Wesley and, and uh, really gained a social conscience through that movement happening in England. And so all down through the centuries, the Guinness people have not only produced a marvelous beer, 10 million pints consumed every day in the world, uh, but have also been actively social uh, and, and socially conscious in a way that is uh, really astonishing. I wrote this book during the recent economic downturn and it was amazing to study the Guinness Company and its benevolence and its care for not only its employees but for the poor uh, in society at the same time that we were hearing the devastations of corporate greed uh, on Wall Street. I think this story is fascinating. I'm not only thrilled that it's a story about beer, unashamedly, happily talking about beer, uh, the history of beer, the history of faith and the church and beer, uh, what beer has meant to society, even the amazing role that beer has played in early American history, the stuff they don't tell you in the textbooks. So, so the Guinness story is not just a ripping good yarn about beer, it's also a great story of an alternative corporate culture and about how wealth can be used for social good and for the glory of God. It's a faith story, it's a business story, it's a brewing story, and, and I think it really will provide an antidote, a breath of fresh air uh, for those of us who are living in this culture. So get it, read it, enjoy it, and live it.